Hey, you got anything for me? Sure, let me see. Not bad, this. No questions asked. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Good then. Really, you won't regret it. You will love that, I swear. I trust nobody's missing this. Been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horses. Hello again, sir. <gasps> oh my, you are a bad person. How do you do, sir? Bye.
Starting to really dislike this place. Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Ah, uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you, but it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh, <laughs> against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man, and he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. Time to go, boy.
coach. Who the heck are you? Only right there. You getting an extra passenger? Okay, drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? <laughs> The mayor is a crook. Uh, me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. It's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. <clears throat> As you work, drive on. Let's go, boy. Okay, then.
Mighty fine if I do say so. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thanks. Morning, Dad. Of this. Welcome back. So, son. so, by Interstellar. Okay, let's take a look at it. I hope you make something pretty with that. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Vicious type. If you want a unique garment, you need to bring me a unique belt. It'll be worth it. Right, let's see. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Ma'am? All right, let's have a look. Pleasure doing business with you. All made to measure. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work.
，您您早啊。Welcome again. Welcome. Please look around. Much to see. Where's the fellow who was here last time I came here? Oh, you probably mean my brother. Far away from here, I hope. Not sullying my good name any further. So you don't know nothing about those fellers he had chained up in the basement? Of course not. I was out of town. Now, is there something I can help you with? I really don't want to talk about that sordid business.
old enough for Sam. I know it ain't popular to say. Well, I Morning. Good to see you again, mister. Nothing like a fresh start. Good day to you. What? Consider myself pure. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. So you're the master race, huh? You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? No, you pathetic moron. Moron? These are facts. I bet you imagine a world where your grandchildren are subservient to monkeys. You're pathetic. Mom, can I get 
money drink over here? Where is Tom? Hello. It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody? Uh, wh what can I do for please? you? Can I get food, please? All that is holy. You know, they're talking about the legalization. But you? Can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Because you have some huh? Needed any further encouragement? Ah, Things all right? Let's just say it can only get better. Whiskey, please. When you're thirsty, ain't nothing else, am I right? How are things with you? I'm doing what very well. What does a dried-up old uh, hag have to do to get drunk around here? Please, gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. You're not I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Bonjour. Ma'am? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Come on in. Bonjour, now, let me just look in here. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. Now these coats are sturdy and they look great. Perfect for a week in the woods or a night on the town. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? I really think it's perfect for you. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Vote. 
No problem at all. If you change your mind, it'll be here waiting for you. Thank you. Really. Hello there. Excuse me. Out of the damn way. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Wake up! Please, for the love of all that's holy, I'm talking money, people! Money! Do you want... Who cares? No, so much much watch where you're going. All right. ah. Pardon me. It's father's eyes. You ever play this oh. before, Brent? So, what'll it be? I'd like a room, please. Okay, Hello. room's all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. This town is so bloody boring. Boring. All of you, you're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. I am. Bonjour, chérie. Stories I heard. How do you do? Behind you, ma'am. Salut, mon mignon. Bonjour, très chérie. How's the crowd today? Madame. Hungry? Hello, ma'am. Monsieur. All right. Je vous salue. How do you do? Thanks. Howdy, sir. Wake up! Please, oh, now, for boy. the love of all that holy, I'm talking money, people! Money! Do you want it or not? Buy this book! Senor? Reasonably
looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. What the heck do you want? What's your damn problem? with you. What's this all about? You ain't feeding this horse ride. I'm all out of space. Only live once, lest you're a cat. Always good to have one of those. Good. <laughs> I got one of them myself. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Good to have one of those. Enjoy. All right, then. Thank you. 
Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Say those awful things about me, buddy. <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <clears throat> Rather, bring him around the back. No, 
love, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc. I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember. Here. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah, and I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Then there's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Let me live, and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on! You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute, but... I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word! 